Hello, everybody. As good as done. We gotta go walk through Nashcal. And he's back. We haven't rested. Um. Something troubling you? Tell me. Okay. Yes. Oh. As you we should still be okay. Yes, O oh, omnipresent authority figure. Jalcales? There we go. You've attacked as you direct. Got our spells fixed up. And now we're gonna head for the Nash Cow Mines. I was looking up uh, what would trigger uh, the fight with Jahir and Tsar. And I want to thank uh, Felonoid from Sorcerer's Place for checking all this stuff up. He's so good at the games. He knows his stuff. But uh, anyway, Felonoid had a uh, little sort of mini walkthrough, mini description of the NPC uh, conflicts in the game. And, uh, Jahir and Khalid will fight with Zar and Montaron. And Khal Jahir will fight with Zar, but Jahir will be fine with Montaron. So, uh, <laughs> Felonoid put down there's like a 50% chance that Jahir and Zar are gonna fight. So, um, it's gonna be interesting, but we're supposed to get, um, the fuck? You have been waylaid by enemies Here we go. and must defend yourself. Cutscene. I don't want to go up front. Hail, and well met. Well met? Traveler. <laughs> well, that's the nicest thing anyone has called me in weeks. We should kill that one last, Senjak. Such good manners. No, no, there's no reason for this to turn violent. Hand over your belongings and you may yet live. You'll have to be more convincing than that. You should listen to Senjak, friend. Perhaps you've noticed our associates who are even now aiming their arrows at your hearts. Raise a hand against us and they'll cut you down. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Perhaps we can negotiate. Ooh! Now then, empty your pockets in. What's going on back there? Some. Oh, we got junkified! This. This is impossible. No, it ain't. Saint Jack! Toratia! I swore I would crush the life out of you someday. Today is that day! That's right, kill him! Dorn, you should be dead or rotting in a Luskin prison. How did you find us? You followed your stink. I'm happy to see you, Dorn. Leaving you behind to take the blame was all Simeon's idea. He's the one you want, not us. Just following orders is a coward's excuse, Dorothea. And I haven't forgotten what you said when I refused to <gasps> advance. Oh, snap! What advances? She would never consort with a half orc, especially when she has me. Change, Dorn. You're as stupid as you are ugly. Tell him, Dorothy. <coughs> Senjak was the first to agree with Simeon. He always hated you. But you know, I didn't feel the same way. <laughs> Tia, what are you saying? Ah, the rules, of course. But the half breed brute is too stupid for that to work. Men, rush them. You are both mewling cowards. Turning on each other as easily as you turned on me. Half your men are already dead. You'll join them soon. Go, Dorn, go! It didn't have to be this way. We've beaten you before, Dorn. We'll do it again. Attack! Lil For sure! What do you need? Let's see if I can get the spell off. Olsa? Kalas Na.
Yes, O oh, omnipresent authority for the group. Oh my god. Let's see. For the fallen! Nature serving um, away. Why are you running away? I don't know. Get the fuck right. up here. Protect me. Yes, O oh, omnipresent oh, authority oh, for you. For the fallen! I have become death. Destroyer of worlds! <laughs> You handled yourself well enough. You act surprised. As a rule, I do not rely on those who fight beside me. Perhaps you may prove an exception to the rule. Perhaps. What business did you have with those two bandits? And who are you anyway? I remember you. My name is Dorn Il Khan, and I was settling an old score. I've been hunting those two for almost a year now. That's two down and two to go. When you struck them down, what happened? I saw a ghostly apparition appear. My powers are none of your concern, unless you are looking for a strong arm to join you. They were quite impressive. I could use a man Wait. like you. Are you? I am she. I've heard of your <laughs> prowess. Oh, yeah. Traveling with you might help my vendetta, and my powers could certainly help you. Perhaps they would, but before I accept your aid and offer mine in return, who exactly are you looking My for? My former companions betrayed me and left me to rot in a Luskin prison. Luskin stinks. I spent the last year tracking them down. After Senjak and Dorotea, there are two left. Hmm. Betrayal cannot go unpunished. You may join me. Very wise. We shall cut a bloody swath across the sword coast. That's right, bitches. Oh, snap! Find this group almost palatable. Oh, my God. Our rep just went in the toilet. We have a five rep. Um, is that going to get us spawning, uh... Flaming Fist soldiers. I hope not. We're gonna have to do some uh, reputation increasing quests. Yeah! It always bites you in the ass. So let's look at Dorn's stats. Oh yes! Finally! Finally some strength! Oh, she had a better constitution! Really? Anyway, he's a black guy. Oh god, what? Missile weapons, dude, missile weapons. So, two handed swords and two handed weapon style. He's gonna be killing with a two hander. Kit description Blackguard. I've never played a blackguard, so. Uh, I'll read as much as I can. Let me get a drink before I start. So we're gonna have to go back to Nashkel and uh, get him a fucking missile weapon. Oh, I hate these bastards. The Blackguard Epitomus. Ugh. Words are hard. English is hard. The Blackguard epitomizes evil and is nothing short of a mortal fiend. The quintessential Black Knight, this villain carries a reputation of the foulest sort that is very well deserved. Consorting with demons and devils and serving dark deities, the Blackguard is hated and feared by all. Some people call these villains anti-paladins due to their complete evil nature. Advantage is he is immune to level drain and fear. Yes, I much like. May rebuke undead. May absorb health ability once per day. And absorb health. Deals two points of damage per level to an enemy. Healing the black guard the same number of hit points. A successful saving throw versus spell negates the effect. May use poison weapon ability once per day per every five levels. Starting at level one with one use. Poison weapon. Each successful hit within the next round will inject poison into the target, dealing an extra two points of damage per second with no saving throw for a total of 12 points of damage. Nice! Moreover, if the target fails the saving throw versus poison, he'll suffer an additional one point of damage per round for four rounds. Let's see. 
They use Aura of Despair ability once per day starting at 3rd level. And that increases, so at 3rd level. Bestows nearby enemies with a negative 1 penalty to hit and damage rolls and negative 2 penalty to armor class, and that increases. <coughs> and then the disadvantages. They have to be evil, they can't detect evil, they can't protection from evil, and they can't use lay of hands. Not bad. But there we go. Uh, look at his pack. What does he got? Yes. Split mail, finally. Rancor. Ebony Blade. Oh, nice. Okay. He does not have a helmet. So, um, start looting, I guess. Actually, fuck that shit. You can wear that. You party leader, man. Party fun leader. Hmm. A bold choice. There we go. Okay. Speak and be gone. Let's Try loot. to keep up. I like it here. What do you got? Shield. Shire looks upon us with favor. Anybody have a uh, ooh crossbow? We can use that. I don't like the way this group is turning out. Better leadership might help. Maybe these guys have arrows. Yes, they do. Just have short bow. Let's, uh... His next uh, point will be going in bows, and nobody had a goddamn. Mm. The journey took ten hours. The fuck, were we ambushed? Well, uh, how much money do we have? Give those to Jahira. Okay, he has a magic weapon. This is how we're gonna start now. There we go. Actually, I'm gonna go and identify Stiff. So, um, let's get going. And let's hope we don't get attacked. I'm not sure uh, when our rep is low enough to be attacked by guards. I think at three you definitely start spawning flaming fists. But this is my first evil playthrough. I normally play either neutral or good, so... Well, 
They're not attacking us. But then again, this is in arm, so... You know, screw that shit. Do you identify? I don't think he identifies. Yeah, business has been poor, but with the iron what do you have for sale? Kasashi. I'm just gonna sell that. We're not using it right now. Pearl. Oh, no, that's Marion Scroll. We need that. We should go, uh... He does identify. Should head up to Baragost and um, But uh, head up to Bear Gust and uh, do a bit more attacking. Fuck, I'm just gonna leave him on a short bow. He's gonna suck with it anyway. So let's see, identify, identify that, and identify that, and that's all. Wakazashi plus one. Now, let's see. Not usable by... Okay, a cleric could use it. Or a uh, druid could use it, so Jahira could use it. She's good. Her club is it shouldn't break. <laughs> but, uh... I'm gonna keep that. Oh, Christ, on a stick. And this was a small ship plus one. Give that to her. Do 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 do. Okay. <clears throat> mm. So let's go to the inn. Let's go to the inn, boys. Does he I have any special abilities? For now. I will listen. For now, it <sighs> shall be go. even bloodier than you. It may be a touch unladylike, but I'm gonna slit your throat, I am. I don't think so, bitch. It's my luck to have you strolling on your boldest day. I expect a hunt and a chase from the description, but who am I to argue with coins in my purse? May the Lord of Shadows guide you swiftly to your death. Defend myself if I must. If you wish to die, then attack as you will. By all means, defend as you wish. If you simply lay down and die, there would be no intrigue in this profession at all. That was easy. Bitch. Mm. Split mail that. Nope. Oh, a bounty notice. How much are we up to? 680 gold coins. And that is a helmet. It's a helmet of infravision, but he's gonna wear it for now. And actually, I'm gonna give him this. There we go. 
That'll do pig. Oh yeah, we should probably uh, split up some of these uh, healing potions. Now that we have the party together. Well, until Zara and Jahira go to it. Your servant awaits. The hell is that for? I don't like the way this group is turning out. Peter Rex. Better leadership might help. Wait, let's see. Uh, Sarna. Now. No. Okay. Try to keep up. Never had rats. No. Let's sorry. rest. You do not dream oh. often, but tonight the visions are vivid indeed. Long have you walked, but now you find yourself back amidst the stones of Candlekeep. What a dump. Your former home looms before you. The drab walls just as you remember them. Over the barricades you can see your old room. And you wonder if it really was as small as it appears now. Hell yeah. As you stand before the keep, a familiar figure comes into view. Gorion stands before you, but his visage is shadowy and weak. He is dead in your dreams, as in life. The phantom of your foster father mutely walks towards the woods, towards supposed safety, and beckons for you to follow as he did once before. This time you remain behind, knowing what is to come. Mm -hmm. Before your eyes, phantoms of the past reenact the pathetic scene that must have taken place in your absence. Clad in armor assuredly magical, a figure strides from the darkness. Admittedly a powerful mage in his youth, Gorion is all but helpless before the onslaught. As he falls, the scene begins again, replaying over and over. Each successive viewing makes the unknown warrior all the more impressive. As you stare at the this murderer guy reads of your former too mentor, damn slow. one thought coalesces in your mind. You will have such power as this. Whatever it takes, you will have all that he does, and more. With that, a passage becomes clear through the darkened wood, and you wonder how you could have missed it. The trees close behind you as you walk, but you are unconcerned. The path feels right, and will assuredly give you what you seek. It seems to promise this in a voice you know, but yet have never heard. The image of Gorion's death replays Jesus. in your mind throughout the night. You get used to it. Bah, he's a strange old man. Oh, we got a special ability. Larlock's Minor Drain. That's the first evil ability. It's based on your reputation at the time of the dream, not your alignment. Unless they change that for this edition. So, um... Uh, awesome. Try to keep up. I will. Baby, yeah. Yes? now. Uh, I don't really want to go to the mines yet. Let me look at my fine traps. See, my fine traps is pretty bad. I don't want to go into there with that. So I'd like her to level up with a thief, which is a Gonna be another six thousand total party experience. So we're gonna go look for adventure. We're actually gonna go to Bergast and drop off that um, Eat 
It shall be even bloodier than you hoped. That's right. See if anybody's in here. No. Can't Speak, I will listen for now. You've a task for the group. Tell me, you want it? You got it. That's right. You need to go over here. There it is. I thought it was right there. I don't know what I was thinking. I can't see. I will listen. It's Try. a plus one bastard sword. Try to keep up. And we need to go over here. And I'm going to take the a long way around because it's a pain to get them to go up this side. do in the future is uh, hang out around Bergos, level up, get Garion at least to level 2 as a thief, which is going to take a while. Uh, so her find traps is um, better than 15. I'll basically be putting um, all my points in there. Mm. Salutations. Here we go. We hand off the letter. We don't get any... Oh. Suck a dick. We'll actually give that to... Um, to me? No, I have one. Let's give it to Kagain. It's a uh, ring of protection, same as in town. Do you know what this is? Nope. Oh, it can have it. Okay. I thought we got would get um Try to keep up. a reputation point for that. But no. really didn't want to do any quests that would uh, that were out of Garion's uh, you know not toward our goals but I'm just afraid that guards are gonna keep showing up <laughs> well not keep showing up start showing up and yeah we're definitely we're not ready to be taking on hordes and hordes of the flaming fist what do you need I've got this I've got this. Going in here for I've got specific this. items. Basically what I wanted was the uh, potion of invisibility. You want it? Um, you got it. Wand of lightning. That's what the wand was. That 
That's what that is. I will listen for yep. now. So that and Yep. Okay. Peter wrecked. It shall be even bloodier than you hoped. That's just what she said. Nah, I need to go down here to uh, <clears throat> felt post to sell some stuff. Maybe we'll have. Uh, oh god, I don't think it identifies. God damn shit! People need to start identifying crap. That's right, he doesn't identify. It shall be even bloodier than you hope. I got me some nice looking white we to offer. don't I? <laughs> we can sell that and fuck up we'll sell the scroll too. To rest up and uh, you want some whiskey for free. Ooh. Actually, we should identify what we can sell. Bastard sword. What do you? Okay, we need a bastard sword proficiency. Eyes of truth. But uh orcs should have infravision. Mm. Are you gotta stop dipping into me own ale. Okay, let's go out. Try to keep up. Time is it? What time is it? I'm gonna stop it there. I will save. So we're gonna be around this area, around Bergost. You know, probably go back up here, hit these areas, clear them out. Probably go over here. This is High Hedge. I need to get a uh, spell for my mage. And we'll see when Zar and Jahira get to it. So, I'll see you next time. Bye!